hi everyone in this video i'm going to solve this problem the problem reads like this check if the letters of a string is unique i'm going to be using python to solve this problem and i'm going to be using this online compiler repl.it um, it's it appears on the top of the list like in when you search in google online compilers of python it comes as one of the top ones so i'm going to be using that i don't have any preference you can use anything so uh, to check if the letters of a string is unique so first i'm going to talk about the algorithm well to check if the letters of a string is unique the naive solution would be um, to check each character of the string one by one and compare them with every other character of the string like uh, what i'm trying to say is suppose the string is like s-t-r-i-n-g okay so what you do is first i will pick up this first character which is s and then i will compare s with every other character except s like the index of s is zero so after i pick up this first character i will scan every single character except the first character and see if any of this character matches with my character at hand my character at hand is s so I will see if any of these characters match with the character at hand, which it does not. So uh, I don't have any reputation for S. Now same thing I will do for T. I will pick up T. So T is my character at hand. Then I will scan every single character from left to right except the character at hand and see if the character matches with any of the characters we are scanning. This will give me, uh, this will give the answer like if is this string uh, containing unique characters or not but the problem with this approach is it will take a little bit more time the time complexity is o n square um, if you don't know about time complexity you should probably search that so the uh, time complexity of this algorithm will be o n square we can get a better algorithm we can get a better time complexity if we use a different approach so the best approach is what I think is using a dictionary so if you don't know what a dictionary is again you should probably look that up so dictionary is probably the best way to use um, to use this to solve this type of problems because like the basic idea of dictionary is a hash table and a hash table is oops okay phone call no no biggie okay the hash table is um, if a character is already in the hash table you can check if it's in the hash table or not and then like if the character is already there in the hash table then that means there's a repetition so then you will print okay this string does not contain all unique characters if the character we are scanning at this moment is not in the hash table then we will then we can proceed with the other characters this will give me a better approach because better algorithm better time complexity because we will be um, find finding the answer in o n time uh, I, will, I will just run through this approach so the first character i'll be scanning is s so i will check if s is in our hash table at this moment the hash table is empty so the answer is false so we will put s in the hash table now next i will scan t then i will check if is t in the hash table which is again false so i'll put t in the hash table and move on the same with r i n g and then uh, since the entire string and that the all the letters of the string is exhausted and that means we have checked all the letters of the string and we did not find any letter which was there in the hash table so we can conclude that the, all the characters of the string is unique if there we find a repetition somewhere we'll just say that all this all the characters are not unique that's it this is a better approach because it will solve the problem in o n time which is obviously much better and obviously more desirable and for the space complexity it is going to be o one because the space is not going to increase um, like hash tables take a limited space it will take a fixed space so the space will not increase so space complexity is O1 except um, not except apart from hash table we can also use arrays 
but for that we have to um, ask a few questions here the questions are um, what is the encoding we are using are we using ASCII encoding or are we using extended ASCII or are we using Unicode or what is encoding like um, for ASCII there are 127 characters for extended ASCII sorry 128 characters for extended ASCII is 256 characters so uh, let us check that in my case I'll be assuming that the user inputs is um, in extended ASCII format okay so to check what is the user I mean what is the encoding of the string uh, this is important because like as I said the uh, ASCII has 250, uh, 128 extended ASCII has 256 and Unicode has I think is 65,535 so with this is like we know the number of characters in the uh, encoding then we can put up we can make a sort of array and each of the indexes will compare with I mean each of the index of the string will compare with our array and see if this character is there in the array like is it is this already occurred in the array or not it, it sounds a bit more difficult but um, it, it will give the same output the space complexity and the time complexity will be exactly the same as the previous algorithm so I will, uh, I will be focusing on the previous algorithm but you can also solve this in this method okay so let's begin okay so we will be needing a string which will be inputted by the user so str for string is equal to input let's say enter string str ng okay okay now let's print the string and see if our program is working or not so let me run this by the way this is python 3.0 like python 3 and python 2 so the string is let's say abc and we are getting abc as the output so this program is running more or less now uh, now we'll make a function is unique is unique and pass this parameter str this function is not yet made but you have to make it now so this function will return true or false like is the string containing unique characters or not okay so def is unique be accepting a parameter which is a string so and now as i said like what is the encoding what is character encoding uh, as i said i'm assuming this is ascii 2 i mean sorry extended ascii so extended ascii has 256 characters so i will see that if length of str is greater than 256 like if the length of the string is more than 256 that means there has to be one, at least one character which is repeated more than once this is sort of the pgn hold principle like if there are what was that n pgns and n minus one pgn okay no there was n pgn holes and n plus one pgns then one pgn hole must contain more than one pgn so some something like that like if there are 256 characters in the uni in the um, extended ascii then and we have more than 256 characters in our string that means one at least one character is repeated more than once so that it it, it, it guarantees that one character is repeated more than once so we will need more than 256 then return false else else means okay it is not more than 256 if it's not more than 256 then we will continue with the actual coding so we'll make a dictionary an empty dictionary at this moment and then for s in string then if s if s in dictionary dot keys is equal to equal to false means if it is not there in the dictionary then if it's not there we have to add it to the dictionary if s in dictionary is equal to equal to false means if the character is not there in dictionary then you have to add this character dictionary of s is equal to any string we'll do here actually and this has been true it doesn't really matter okay this will be do if s in dictionary is equal to false then this is the this will be done else 
return false so uh, okay uh, i messed up yes return false what this is string basically doing is this will be um, extracting every single character of the string then if s is in the dictionary if s is not in the dictionary then it will add it to dictionary as it return false what this else means else means it, the letter is already in the dictionary it's wrong false okay okay so it then true otherwise so but what does this mean this means it's like after this entire for loop has executed and we have not got this condition at least once if we get this condition at least once uh, sorry this condition at least once then it will it will exit the function if if this for loop has executed completely and we have not got this condition at least once that means all the characters in our diction in in our string is unique so I'll return true at uh, so I'll return true okay everything's all right so let's see if this works so you see it is true because it's unique then let's see so you see a it is false so this program works so now what if the interviewer uh, okay okay so what if the interviewer now asks you if you cannot use any other data structure so this is a data structure this dictionary is a data structure so if you are not allowed to use any data structure what you, uh, what will you do so basically the naive solution of this approach will be with this condition without using any data structure would be to uh, would be our first solution do you remember first solution checking every single uh, letter of the string and comparing with all the other letters of the string so this will give me the result apart from that what we can do is we can use a sorting algorithm um, the built-in sorting algorithm I don't really I don't know at this moment um, the built-in sorting algorithm does it use any extra space or not I mean there's some algorithms there's some sorting algorithms which use extra space and there are some sorting algorithms which are in place that means which do not use any extra space so we have to just choose a sorting algorithm which does not use any extra space and then we have to sort the string so i'm going to explain this here so if the string is a b c a after sorting this it will be a a b c now what we have to do is we have to check every letter of the string up to the second last and see if the ith letter is equal to the i plus one letter so if this letter the first letter is equal to the second letter that means there is a repetition so this is not unique so if every single letter is not equal to the next letter that means the string is unique so this will give me solution the complexity will be o n log n the time, time complexity will be o n log n space where in an extra space so basically o one so this is all for this video if you like it do it a thumbs up and i'll be back with more videos thank you